Welcome back to our tech. Today we unbox and review the 2019 Timio N58 ECG watch. So this is the all new 2019 Timio N58 ECG watch. As the name says, what makes this special is that it's got the electrocardiograph or ECG measuring capability along with the usual heart rate monitor and blood pressure monitors, everything built in. So I ordered this from AliExpress, I'll leave links in the description and uh, let's unbox this beautiful watch. So there you go, it's a nice black box and uh, the specs are very decent. Uh, it's It's got nothing fancy, no touchscreen or Android or anything on it. So it's just running its own OS. Uh, has a nice IPS display of 240 by 204. 180 mAh battery, box has 200. Claims uh, 15 days of standby time. I suppose it can do that in five to seven days of usage time. IP67 rated, has a gravity sensor, Bluetooth 4.2 about 64 MB of memory and 52 MB of RAM. Uh, it's not very clear though. So yeah, let's uh, open this out of box. It's neatly packed in another beautiful box. And there's the watch. Let me just increase the brightness and it looks beautiful. And this one was ordered with a metal strap. So it's a little bit expensive, it's about Two or three dollars more. This is about this whole watch retails for about fifty dollars and good price point. Okay, so this watch seems to be stuck. Okay, so there it is. So this is the 2019 edition of the Timio ECG watch. Nice metal strap, very lightweight, and those are the sensors at the back. It's got a heart rate monitor in the mid middle as well as the magnetic charging ports at the bottom. Let's see what else you get in the box. Okay, there's another... Everything is so tight in here. Okay, when you remove the sponge, uh, there's a nice little manual. Well written both in Chinese as well as English. And a few pictures to explain what it can do. And... Uh, to my surprise, there was also a nice screen guard thrown in. So this watch is about 35mm in diameter. The display dimension is about 35mm. And let's go ahead and open this charging box. Perhaps there's something else as well inside. Okay. There is a charging cable. It's magnetic. USB port on one side. And it's stuck to something else here. And this seems to be an additional strap. Oh. Okay, that's the charger. Magnetic in nature. Okay, let's go ahead and see what kind of strap they've actually given us extra, additionally. And that's a polyurethane strap. Along with a nice little tool. And that's, that's your watch removal. Cool. Nice gesture, honestly. And the strap looks nice, feels good, very good quality. So we'll come to it in a while. Getting back to the watch, the design is neat, it's got this nice round dial. And I told you it's very light, uh, incredibly light. And it's got a notch in the back, this just got a single button, it's clicky. Uh, it rotates, but I think it doesn't function that way. So let's go ahead and remove this plastic covering. Okay, that's some good quality metal strap. I have literally had to cut it because it was so nicely packed. It wouldn't actually come off. Yeah, so that's the metal strap on that watch. And the display is really nice. 
I don't know what kind of glass they're using on it. I don't want to take any chances showing you how good it is in terms of scratch resistance. Let's connect the charger just to see how that works. Yeah, you just have to bring it close and it'll just snap into place. Wow, look at that display. This is an IPS display. I'm just connecting it to a power bank just to give it some boost because I think it just mentioned here that the watch needs charging. So yeah, that's a beautiful display. It's not touchscreen. I kept thinking this is a touchscreen watch, but wondrous one. And even the dial would rotate, but there was no function. So here are the menus. Uh, you have steps, calories, distance, heart rate monitor, of course. Let's see if it works. It's already flashing. Okay, let's get it back and we'll have a look how well this works. Yep. 97 beats, pretty high. Seems to be working. Okay, the charger just keeps coming off because it's magnetic. It's, it's very easy to knock it off. Let's see how easy that magnetic charger is to remove. So you wouldn't force fully cut off a wire or something. So, yeah, so uh, here are the other things. So you have ECG, you have the PP monitoring capability on this watch and ECG as well. Now you'll need the app to make this work, right? It's also got, uh, let me show you, it's got the sleep tracker as well. got a sports mode where it lets you measure different activities and you know it tells you how, how much you're running and how much time what's your heart rate during that time then there's a mode to measure uh, let me see okay so to start this mode you got to press that button and then it starts the timer here's a hiking mode there's a cycling mode there's a TT mode basketball Badminton, etc., etc. Yep, football. And that's about it. So, nice choice of uh, sporting activities. It's also got the other functions, yeah, usual ones like timer. And it's also a switch off button. And yeah, this is one of the watch plates. So, really nice display. I honestly like the way the watch looks. It's a brilliant display. Hats off to that. Now I took off this metal strap, I just wanted to see how easy it is to replace. So to take off that metal strap, you do need to use that tool which they've given you. And uh, lucky for you, if you're using the PU strap, it's it's uh, it's a toolless feature. You just have to use a small notch on the given strap and you'll be able to easily put on a new strap. So you just have to align it right, based on the side it is gonna go. And you can see that it's a, Toolless setup. So you just put this in the slot, then you press the groove, and that's it. It's that fast to put a strap on. And to be honest, I really like the strap more than the metal strap because it feels so much more comfortable. So let's go ahead and tie it up. I really don't know why I struggled wearing this <laughs> for the first time, but... Um, oops, oops, oops. There you go. So that looks decent. It's got a nice snug fit to it. It's not bulky, that's the best part. With all those sensors at the back, it still has a nice 
design and these are the different watch plates so you have about four of them so let me know what you guys think about the watch plates of course uh, I, I don't think there's a way you can add more of them but uh, you just get about four designs and the strap is amazing just taking a quick reading of uh, heartbeat and blood pressure and it works beautifully so ECG won't work till you actually use the app so talking about the app, how good is the app? Let's go ahead and find out. Let's go to the Play Store. I'm using an Android phone, so Play Store. So you gotta search for Wear Heart. So let me first find Play Store. I have so many apps here. Okay, there it is. It's downloading. It's about 14 MB, 14 and a half MB, 15 MB perhaps. Let's get this installed. So to make it work, we'll have to sign up, add some of the details it's going to ask you, like age, gender, height, etc, etc. You need to give permissions on your phone so that you can access your storage and some of the other notification uh, services that you have. So I'm just going to fill this as we go. There's nothing to actually explain in this. It's, uh, you know, do as you see and fill as you need basis. Okay, so just make sure that you fill all that on that app accurately. And as I said, you'll have to give it permissions and only then it's going to work. And uh, you should get a notification that you're going to connect it to a device because Bluetooth is going to be the main mode of communication. And once you search for the device, you will see a watch there, N58, mentions, uh, mentioned on the app. I'm going to select that and it connects beautifully. No problems, nothing. So it works nicely. Okay, so there are some other options you have here. You can switch on some of the built-in features like early monitoring of heart rate and stuff like that play around with this app it's pretty easy intuitive to use so it should be easy for you guys to work on that and right now it's showing everything as zero because it probably hasn't taken any kind of reading and you'll have to actually go to the calibration settings for the ECG to work it will show you zero in the initial stages and remember you'll have to configure your BP to uh, set standard by a doctor for example 120 by 80 is the normal reading for, for blood pressure so you have to go and actually add that on and once you do you know the machine gets calibrated so i'm going to add that okay. and as soon as you do that you see that the reading starts okay that, that's what i'm talking about 120 by 80 now i'm going to take the reading it's actually doing calibration at the moment and it's, it's so beautiful to see that the watch is sending ECG data over Bluetooth to your phone and you can see your heartbeats on the phone screen. So it takes about 30 seconds for this and once it does it you're pretty much good to go. Okay, that was the end of calibration. Now it's going to take the actual reading. 
So you can see that now it's actually displaying uh, the actual blood pressure on the top right corner. And when I start measuring, it's giving me a more comprehensive reading. Yeah, it works beautifully. So the detailed report is amazing because it, it kind of gives you a summary of what is your health like. It's, it's based on how Apple is doing this and it has a health index where it talks about fatigue index, physical and mental load, physical fitness, etc, etc. And it's also going to tell you, give you some advice about your health. And there's a bar which talks about general good and optimal health. And it's it's pretty much face value. You like to take you know advice from that. You can, or else you can just use it for basic reading. So it's a, it's a nice feature they're giving you. And the app is really lovely. So uh, again, as for. Uh, there are certain sections like it asks you for skin color in some places. It's really weird. I don't know why, but yes, there's there's a skin color skin color um, set setting as well, which is different. I haven't I have no idea why they're asking for skin color. Maybe it's for the heart rate monitor. Uh, talking about apps, this this uh, watch can actually display your messages on your watch plate. And here are some of the apps it supports. WeChat, LinkedIn, Skype, WhatsApp, Viber, Line, Facebook Messenger. So quite a few apps for you to actually uh, read messages from. Anyway, so this is how it actually looks and compares when you keep it next to a, a normal analog watch. So that's a you know, watch which costs about four times this, four five five times this, but yeah, so that, you know, just giving you a perspective of the dimensions and you know, the thickness of the actual watch. It's very similar to the analog watch and it's so much lighter. So anyway, this is just for size compare. It's not a thick watch. I used this for about two days without charging and the battery was still about at 80%. So for a price of about $50, uh, or 3,500 rupees. This is a steal. You can really go for it. Hope you liked the review. Please like or dislike the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. And I will see you on the next one.